more pain for the colt led by Stephen Hargrave of Muncie, Indiana, owner of Brothers Barbershop, and supposed pastor of the Church of God Restoration in Warsaw, Indiana. For more information, please visit coltbusters.us which doesn't have much info on it yet, but anyway. Uh, Colt Busters on YouTube and Church of God Colt Busters on Facebook. Anyway, there is conflicting information pouring out from the Restoration Colt at this time concerning Jacob and Patricia Braun. Also, on a lighter note, the Millers have left, and um, so that was some information we received earlier today, but I think what's happening is they are, they're in total damage control mode over this apostle breakup because that upsets the very foundation of their false doctrine they've been pushing for the last year or two. And so some are saying they're still in, some are saying they're out, some are saying he's saved, some are saying she's saved, he's not saved, she's not saved, and just this back and forth confuse, confusion. So anyway, suffice it to say, we know this, that they have trouble in paradise Ray's little regime has had a wrench thrown into it. And no doubt about it, the seeds that Jacob sown, even though some have recanted, uh, Jacob himself sounds like may have recanted. This is nothing new. This is the same thing that happened back in the Inquisition of the, of the Catholic Inquisition. Um, it was reported by uh, somebody in the deaconship within that, within that church that Ray is closer to the Catholic belief than anything else. Um, so it should be a marvel to us that nine uh, wolf frogs went up to Canada along with some other preachers. I don't know how many would have been in the meeting, but probably 20 or more, and sat down and inquired at Jacob's mouth for about four hours. This they did just as the Inquisition before them would have done and dug out everything they could possibly dig out. And according to Steve Hargrave, he was not isn't even in the position to be saved at this time so but they're they're throwing out conflicting information because they really don't want us to know what's going on um, I'm sure that they want to give the impression that Jacob and his wife are both uh, back in the fold I'm sure they would want us to believe that um, I can't really can't really see that entirely happening because of what Jacob mentioned in his manifesto. I mean, he would really, really have to um, go back on a lot of things. But we know that in the Inquisition, uh, we read about the Fox's Book of Martyrs, Martyrs Mirror. There were Christians, saints that did recant in those days. So it's possible that he's complete, that they were successfully completely flipped Jacob in his in his mind. Um, that being said, it's kind of an injustice to those that were following Jacob. I'm sure they're confused. But if we look at history we look at the scriptures themselves, we know that this is nothing new. 
And again, it just goes to show us that we should not and ought not be following man. Because man is fallible. Man is subject to the flesh. And man will fail you. But there is one man that will not fail you. And that man is Jesus Christ. He's the only, the only man worldwide that was born of a virgin without man's influence. The Holy Spirit moved on the Virgin Mary. She conceived and bare Christ. And then the scriptures tells us that he was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Thus, he became, he was the Christ. And he continued unto the death. And so he's our example. He's our Lord. He's our master. And he is the head of the church. Not Ray Tinsman. Not Stephen Hargrave. Or these other nine false apostles besides them. So Jesus is the way. Absolutely under no circumstances pray through Ray or Steve or any other man. So it's going to be interesting. Um, I did call the mother-in-law this morning and told her that um, there was another report yesterday evening that uh, the Millers from Greenville had made their exodus and she was she rejoiced over that. She said she hopes that the whole thing comes crumbling down because her daughter divorced her son-in-law. And that is a grievous um, thing to her and the whole family. Um, so anyway, uh, look for more things to happen, more things to come about. Um, they're going to keep talking. They're going to keep throwing out misinformation. And... Um, it might take a little time before we know exactly what's going on, but um, as it is with every fire, sometimes you got to wait till the smoke clears to see what the total damage is. So, anyway, I think that's all I had for now. Um, keep praying for those that are in there that are riding the fence. No doubt um, there's quite a few of them. And they need to, they need a lot of courage. And then, and I think most importantly, they need to understand that when they make their exodus, the thing to do is not, you know, when, 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 uh, was it Lot and his wife, when they left Sodom, the commandment was not to look back. And in this case, we see what effect it had on Jacob. Essentially, he looked back. He said, yeah, I'll meet with you. And he met with all these inquisitors from the cult, and they were able to turn him upside down. And then they even had him do some kind of a public confession, which <laughs> all the devils in hell rejoiced over that one because that discredited him and gave them credit. So, it's not the end of the road. It's The Lord is st still at work. He's, uh, he's not done with them. And it's yet to be seen what all is going to happen. But if you leave the place, don't look back. Don't talk to them. If they call you, don't answer the phone. You already know what they believe. You already know what they teach. If you do anything, send them a text message back and say, if you want to talk to somebody, dial 574-457-6170. I'd be glad to talk to them on your behalf. And they probably won't call. But if they have any inkling whatsoever that they can 
They can persuade you through their long, soft tongues, their good words and their fair speeches. If you give ear to that, you'll be making a public confession. Yep. So best thing to do is just run. If the wife looks back, yeah, you'll probably lose her just like Lot lost his. She'll probably be a pillar of salt. Spiritually speaking, she will turn to stone. She will grow cold and she'll be gone. So don't look back. If, if you're a wife and you leave and your husband is still in there, don't even talk to him about it. Let him do what he wants to do. If you're a husband and your wife wants to stay there, let her stay there. Don't talk to her about it. She'll leave you. I know. But if you can hold it together, by all means, that's what you want to do. You want to get your family out of there in one piece, and it's, it's going to be hard to do. Really hard. And if you do do it, it'd be a miracle, I'll tell you that. So, we need to keep praying that the Lord will continue to open eyes so that there's not, a, there's not such a large contrast between what is truth and what is error. So that in their minds they can see clearly what the truth is and they can, they can begin to see, okay, no, this is wrong. This isn't right. So anyway, um, said it yesterday, I'll say it again, if anybody's got the English version of Jacob's uh, manifesto, please send it. And uh, as always, we'll keep you confidential. We're not trying to uh, divide any, any families any more than they are already. There's a lot of people outside of the place that have relatives in there yet that are still still scared scared to talk scared that if they talk they will not have access to their family anymore that's pretty sad but that's what's going on but rest assured if, if you talk to me or you send me a message and you let me know that you want to be confidential. You don't want anything leaked out. That's the way it'll be. I don't have have any motives other than what is what is good and what is right for everybody. Even these these false apostles, I would be elated if they would repent. I was very happy when when Jacob did what he did. So, anyway, Lord bless y'all. Jesus is the way. Do not pray to Ray. There's the same, the same spirit, the same cultish spirit applies to so many other groups. And there are so many varying degrees to which it applies. But pretty much across the board, we've all been duped in some way or another to not see God in spirit and in truth, to not follow him in spirit and in truth, but to be a carnal man and look on things on the outward. We gotta we gotta look past the outward, we gotta look at the heart, especially as we see the day approaching. Because those that you look at right now and you think they are they are your brother and your sister, they're gonna be the first ones to stab you in the back when things really get rough. But the one that you don't even think, you don't think he or she's even, even no semblance of Christianity. They're the ones that are going to be close. They're the ones that will be your help and your aid in the times that are coming. So, 
Man looketh on the outward, but God looketh on the heart. And we need to be more like Him. So let Him be Lord. Let Him be Master. And let God be true and every man a liar. If any man says anything other than what is written, he's a liar. He's a deceiver. He's an antichrist. He's got that spirit. He's got that, that seed in him. You need to just walk away. If you don't, if you don't have any understanding of these things, get yourself a martyr's mirror. That might be easier to find, a Fox's Book of Martyr. And read some of the stories, how those inquisitors went after the Christians and got them in there and how they used good words and fair speeches and spoke kindly and softly unto them. Trying to extract every little bit of information and then at the end, it was well, you didn't pray to Ray for the last six weeks. You said something against the Pope. You didn't say your hair, Hail Marys. You weren't, you, we, didn't, we haven't seen you in mass. And then they called for the bailiff and told him out with them, gather the faggots to the stake they go. Take them to the horses tie them by their four limbs and rip them asunder. These things happen, folks, in the, in the name of, of religion. The Catholic Church, the one and only universal Catholic Church killed thousands of people. Not just, not just Christians, but people that didn't agree with them. Sinners. Saints. Just like Hitler. Hitler didn't just kill Jews. He killed what they called the undesirables, the drunks, the homeless. They put them all in the camps. They made lampshades out of their hides. Mm -hmm. Picture albums made out of human skin come out of Germany. It's not a joke. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. We've been exempt. We, we've had it good in America for a long time. Jim Jones, he, he poisoned them people back in the 70s. I was born in 75. I think he did that early 70s, 74. Maybe later, I don't know. But it happened. Why? Because they upheld men above what was written. They looked at man above the scriptures. Yea, let God be true and every man a liar. Lord bless y'all.